So welcome back in, Trey Lowell here with Lowell Productions. Today's video is going to be centered around an item I think a lot of us tend to neglect. And if you're kind of wondering what it might be, it's going to be an audio recording device. Now, the reason that I bring up audio recorders is I do think it's something that many of us neglect, and I happen to find that it really does enhance your video production. When I talk about the Zoom H6 or I talk about just external recorders in general, a lot of us record our audio directly into our camera, whether it be my Lumex S5, my GH5, or my GH4, I get great results. And when I do the voice enhancer and Final Cut, I find that the audio results are pretty solid. When I'm doing professional gigs, that's where I find the audio recording device comes in handy. Whether it be the H1, the Zoom H4 that I've had a lot of experience with, or the Zoom H6, it really just gives you more control of your situation. Also, huge bonus is I can have multiple tracks going into this recorder, and simultaneously, I can do a mix of all of whatever I'm capturing, or I can individually do those tracks. So I'd have track one, track two, track three, track four, in theory, if I wanted to. And that way, when I go into post-production, I can kind of play around with the different audio levels. So for instance, right now, I'm gonna let you guys just hear the full lavalier microphone. For the most part, we've been rolling with the shotgun audio, which I think is fantastic when you can get it very close. But to give you guys an example of what a lavalier would sound like, we're gonna switch over now to that audio. So the first time you guys are probably hearing this lavalier audio, going into channel one, we're recording at four as far as our gain levels here. And as far as kind of how low I have the audio turned down on my lavalier for the Movo, I don't know if you guys can see it, on the receiver I've got it receiving at two, and then on the actual lavalier itself, I've got it as two as well, and it can go up to five or six. I say all of that only to give you a little bit of disclaimer, when recording audio, if you guys can see over here, you always wanna be hitting the green. And to be honest, I like to kind of jack my levels down, not up, quite a bit, so that when I bring it into Final Cut, I have a lot of flexibility in regards to bringing my levels up, making sure I'm never peaking with my audio. So at this point, you guys have gotten an opportunity to hear what the shotgun microphone would sound like, the lavalier microphone that we have on here, but there's one added bonus that the H6 and the H4 offer and the H1, and that is gonna be the ability to have a microphone that's going to be on top as well. Now, what I'm gonna do is bring this over a little bit. And at this point, we are switched over to that audio that is directly on top of the H6. Now, this option is one where a lot of times people will go handheld, bring it close, and use it just like a traditional handheld microphone. Also, if you really wanted to and you were just trying to get room audio, this is going to be an option as well. I would be honest and say that unless you're really close to this microphone, the audio can get a little wishy-washy, but when you get pretty nice and tight on it, I do think it delivers a pretty solid audio solution. And you guys actually drop a comment in the comment section below of what you think of this particular audio. We are recording directly into these microphones that are at the top of the H6, and that is just the third option. So at this point, we've done shotgun microphone going into channel two, we've done lavalier audio going into channel one, and we then also have the onboard microphone of the H6 that we're currently recording with as well. So three options packed in this external audio recorder. Now I wanna give a disclaimer, I'm a little bit biased towards Zoom audio, mainly because that's what I've had experience with, but I've heard great things about Tascam. There are a wide variety of options, but this video is centered around really just in 2023, considering an audio recording device, I know some of the price tags on these can get a little pricey. I wanna say the Zoom H6, probably somewhere in the 225 used upwards to 300 brand new. And I know that might hit some people's pockets and you think it might not be worth it. But I've just found over the years doing events, doing event coverage, and having to kind of be very, uh, in a situation where I'm able to be lean and move quickly, having this plus having the la lavaliers plus having a shotgun microphone on my camera just puts me in a situation where I can get event audio, 
I can then maybe bust off to do some interviews. And then if I really needed to, I can have this dedicated to just recording the entire event audio, full run of show. And then when I come back in post-production, I just have a long audio that I can then sync to a footage that I've shot throughout that event. So I know that was a mouthful, but it was more of just a testimony, whether it be a lavalier mic, whether it be a shotgun mic, whether it be the internal or I guess built-in microphone, you know, these can really get you out of a pinch. So 2023, take a look into audio recording devices externally and uh, yeah, weigh in. Maybe you already own one. Maybe you have the Zoom. I want to say, is it the Zoom H or the H8? I don't know. But either way, there is a wide variety of options that really can lift your video production when it comes to audio. So hey guys, it's Trey Lowell here with Lowell Productions. And as always, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you like the content I keep creating here on the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and I will be happy to see you in the next video. Did that work? Four minutes? And I'm guessing the other portion was probably about the same. All right, about the time frame. Audio turned out good. Peace, guys.